Hi, this is Steve from AppSplanation.com, and today we're taking a look at VLC Media Player uh, for the iPhone. Uh, you may have run across this program before. It, uh, it's been available on the PC, Mac, and uh, I think Linux as well for quite a long time. Uh, it's an open source project, and what it is is a media file player. So basically any audio or video file. Uh, the goal of VSL media, VLC Media Player is to be able to basically play any file that's out there, and that is for the most part true beyond uh, you know maybe a few strange proprietary formats. Uh, the significance of having it on the iPhone is that you know uh, the iPhone has a closed file system and it has uh, some specific. Uh, built-in capabilities in terms of video and audio and if a file you want falls outside of those it's uh, kind of a pain in the ass to be able to get to play it directly usually you have to sort of re-encode it uh, into a format that the iPhone can read and like I said it's time consuming and you know I personally have never done it just because it's, it's just too much work but VLC can play basically anything natively so uh, no matter no matter what the format is there's a high high percentage chance that you'll be able to just play it directly with VLC media player uh, the interface itself isn't terribly complicated you just uh, either link or uh, store a file in the library and tap it and then you just have normal audio video controls that are pretty simple to figure out uh, in the upper left here we see the little cone if we tap on that it's just going to pull up a, a bar that uh, shows you all of the different ways you can uh, access those video files uh, media library again you can hook to a hook to a PC or a Mac and pull from iTunes or drag and drop files into iTunes into VLC media player and sync them that way or you can download them directly to the media library from a internet address uh, local network capability so you can plug into a local network access stuff that way uh, open network stream is very cool because uh, you know this will allow you to hook into live events you know sometimes sporting events and stuff will broadcast live uh, particularly from UDP addresses and you can just uh, plug that address in fire it up and you're good to go uh, you do need to be over Wi-Fi though I won't do it over the cell network uh, as mentioned before, downloads, you can just plug in an internet address and download the file directly that way. You can also uh, do the exact opposite and turn this into basically a video server or video audio server. By tapping on Wi-Fi upload, it gives you an internet address from which you can then serve media files uh, back to a PC or a Mac or whatever. Uh, it has support for Dropbox and Google Drive. Uh, I do personally use Dropbox a lot, so if I click on that, I've already got a link to my Dropbox account and all the music files from my band are in there, and we can uh, I can just hop in there and listen to them directly from that. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, not real complicated, uh, but you know. On the iPhone, you've just never had this this capability to play some of these file formats without, again, sort of reformatting them into a uh, into a native uh, iPhone format. And like I said nobody really wants to do that. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. So uh, check it out. It's totally free to download. Uh, if you're not using it on the PC, I highly recommend having it around as well. Uh, once again, it's free, and uh, it will play basically any format you want. Uh, another great little thing that it will do that uh, not a lot of other media players will is it will play partial files. So if you've, say, downloaded 10 or 20% of a file and you're not sure exactly what it is, it will actually, uh, it's not always successful, but sometimes you can uh, go in and preview what's in there. And... Uh, you know, that's a, a great capability to have if you're downloading you know, particularly huge video files that are 1, 2, 3 gigabytes. So check it out. I may go in and uh, do a few videos on like how to do live streaming and stuff like that. Uh, but as far as the basic app, that's it. Bye.